Hello everyone and welcome to Skyrim Mod Reviews. I'm your host Porterhouse and that's no bull. Alrighty, before we get going here I just want to let you folks know I still have a cold. If you watched my last uh, review of Fallout 4 Mod Review, I got kind of gollumy at the end of it. That's why. Uh, I'm still kind of sick, still getting over it, so if I get a little hoarse, now you know why. I have two hot diggity mods for you today. I have an armor mod and I have a follower mod. So let's get started. First up we have Special Leather Armor CBBE HDT by Alunder. This is a conversion of Geku 1992's Leather Armor UNPB TBBP. Now with a lot of times with conversions of armors to CBBE, you wind up with all kinds of issues from body warping to clipping. While I was testing out this mod, however, it was pretty obvious to me that Alunder went through a lot of extra work to make sure everything fit properly in all possible situations and to minimize the clipping. All too often with armor conversions, I have experienced various levels of disappointment, but not so with Alunder, not even a little. Everything in this outfit fit perfectly from the panties all the way up to the cape. I was extremely pleased with this mod author's work. The armor consists of the cuirass, a cape, gloves, leggings, panties, skirt, and boots. You can use the original texture, which is actually uh, pretty good, or you can download uh, an alternative texture by Yakisoba Pan. Uh, I used both in this just to try them out, and actually uh, I didn't have a preference. Uh, they, uh, they were both fantastic. The author was kind enough to provide a link to that optional texture, so be sure to check it out. To forge the armor, you will need a special book located in the back room of the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. You have to have that in your inventory or it won't show up in the forge recipes. Now there are some requirements for the armor including Caliente's beautiful bodies of course, body slide, XP32 skeleton, HDT physics extension, and HDT high heel system. A little while later, I'll be taking Tish out for some fighting to test out the armor along with the next mod. Speaking of next mods, we have Palekia, standalone follower by Omniscience 3. According to the backstory, Palekia was orphaned by tragic circumstances during a pilgrimage to the throat of the world. She was taken in and educated by the Greybeards who raised her in complete silence. When you find her at the monastery, she is wearing the rather unflattering Greybeard robe. For the review, I dressed her up in the special leather armor, which turned out to be a good choice since it turns out that she is a mage that favors lightning spells. She is available in CBBE, CBBE HDT, and now UUNP HDT. The mod author states, and I quote, Palekia is certainly not the bravest follower you will encounter, and she may initially cower from enemies, but she will eventually join the fight to aid you. I found this to be a charming change from the balls to the wall, charge in no matter what's going on type of follower. As you will see from the action clips, it really does happen and honestly, I found this pretty amusing. Speaking of action clips, then we have now come to the part of the review where I show you the mods in action. So sit back, relax and enjoy and we will be back in a moment and I will discuss my criticisms if any of the mods and give you my thoughts.
right, as you saw from the fight scenes, Palekia does run away in, uh, in combat sometimes. You saw it in the dragon fight. She does come back, and when she does, she starts slinging those lightning bolts, which are super effective. She was just smashing enemies left and right with it. Now, I didn't show you all of the combat clips because they were kind of boring, and I got to keep this short, so I was just showing you some of the better ones. The dragon fight, you saw her run away. She did come back. It didn't make much of a difference because that dragon was just wiping the floor with us, so I had to bring in Lydia to tank. And apparently there's safety in numbers because after Lydia was there, Palekia didn't run away anymore and just kept pelting that drag with lightning bolts until we finally brought it down. Uh, she is absolutely fantastic follower. She does what she's supposed to. She follows uh, fairly closely. No, she doesn't belong to the Lydia school of uh, followers where they may disappear during transit for, you know, 15 minutes. So, good job, uh, Omniscience 3. Now, there was one flaw you may have seen, and that is not the mod author's fault. It is mine. I had a conflicting mod that gave her a little bald spot on, on the front of her head. Uh, I have since fixed that, so if uh, you saw it in the video, do not take that as a reflection of the mod author's work. That was my fault. Now, moving on to the special leather armor. Alunder did a fantastic job. The armor looks good. It is protective, but not as protective as, as what Tish usually wears. So, uh, you saw Tish getting hurt pretty badly. Uh, it is a perfect armor, however, for a thief or a uh, magic user. It's cute. It's sexy. The textures are wonderful. Uh, he did a good job fitting it to the CBBE. Uh, it was an excellent job. I recommend it. In fact, I recommend both mods. You need to download them and try them out. And if you do and you enjoy them as much as I have, make sure you endorse and maybe vote them up for file of the month if that is your wish. If both, uh, if the mod authors have a mechanism in place for donating cash, please do so. They could always use a little extra jingle on their pocket and it encourages them to keep on modding. Also, if you liked my video, please remember to hit that like button, and if you have not already done so, please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next mod review.